Hey guys, so I forgot to tell y'all. I actually I didn't forget. I just have been deciding on a good day to tell you guys about this, but I so I've been holding it off for a minute now. Um if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it, but if not, you haven't. But this has been my baby. Okay. But a few months ago, this brand reached out to me and their name is Scentcraft. So shout out to Scentcraft for this whole experience. I'm so appreciative. But Scentcraft is just like it says in the title, it's Scents. It's a fragrance brand, it's a fragrance company, and they basically re reach out to creators to create their own fragrance. See where I'm getting with this. <laughs> so they reach out to creators to create a fragrance of their liking and from that they create samples as well that they like, samples of fragrances that they liked, smells that they like. So, oh my god, this is a whole thing. <laughs> so they reached out to me a few months ago. I was going back and forth with them, got on a call with them, figured some stuff out. I was able to put, basically put scents that I like together to create a fragrance. And then, so that was for a big bottle, a big perfume bottle. Then I made little different concoctions of scents together to create four other perfumes but they're very small so they sent me the four with the big bottle this is it right now so i actually had full like control over everything the only thing i didn't have control over was the pricing of the fragrance so they're i mean they're not bad in pricing especially because of how like authentic you know the scents are because you're making you're making it yourself, all that stuff. But, okay, so, oh my gosh, there's so much. <laughs> okay, so, I got to make the um, the label myself. I got to create a name for the fragrance. And, yeah, so, oh my gosh, this, this is just so exciting. Like, I'm so grateful. But, yeah, they reached out to me. We had a voice call together. Um, then they gave me the steps to create the fragrance and to move forward with the process. I sent it over. I also sent over, like, the design that I wanted for the packaging. And I sent it over. They approved it. They got it together. They sent it out to me. And I got it right after my shift. And y'all know, after you work, you get home from work, and you just want to sleep. You want to do all that. I was up for hours just looking at it, smelling all the scents, just so excited and just like, I'm, like just in shock that like this creation came to life. So it was just so fun and creative. And I was like thinking of names for like other things. <laughs> and I also wanted it to be unique, something that resembles me, my culture, my background, where I'm from, all that stuff. So if you guys did not know, I feel like I, I say this quite a lot, but I am Eritrean American. My parents were both raised, born and raised in Eritrea. It's located in Northeastern Africa. But anyways, the main language in Eritrea is Tigrinya. And it's a very beautiful language. And I was thinking of something like a word in the language that kind of resembles me and what I try to put out in my content. And it's self-growth, self-love, that stuff. So I was like, okay, what's kind of like what kind of symbolizes that but in a word and I was thinking of flower and flower in Tigrinya is Fiori that is such a beautiful y'all can't tell me that's not a beautiful name <laughs> it's just a beautiful name and not only does it just roll off the tongue so beautifully but it resembles a flower and a flower needs all the nutrients to grow that's basically like my little description for it a flower needs nutrients to grow and like us humans us people in order for us to grow spiritually mentally physically we need to take little actions and feed us 
nutrients in all aspects to grow as a person so i feel like that was a perfect like analogy of self-growth and self-love because while you are on that path of self-growth you should be loving yourself every step of the way and that's definitely something that i've learned to do for the past i guess i would say like two years now so the name of my perfume is Fiori. It is out now for purchase. Everything, to like to link and everything will be in the description box down below. So you can purchase and support your girl because it's just a beautiful thing. It is um, a f like a fragrance specifically like towards females, for, towards women. Um, I had the opportunity to choose if I wanted it to be f for women, men, both. And I figured because my audience is mainly women, it was the smartest route to go towards a woman's fragrance. So perfume over cologne. Um, but if you have a sister, a, a mom, an aunt, a grandma that you would like to gift a girlfriend um, to gift this to. But yeah, this is the box. This is the label. So it's Fiori. So beautiful and then in the back I did it was like a thank you sticker so I did, I did this picture of myself I really love this picture of me and in the bottom it says thank you don't mind my nails they're crusty but yeah you gotta get the point now I need to focus bring it back to life okay <laughs> so at the bottom it says scent craft y'all can't really see it but it says scent craft because it it's from scent crafts and so when i opened the box it says once you receive your package and finalize your top three scents your fragrance qr codes for your scents will go here and so this is kind of like the sample box because this is like where i picked or took one fragrance out and basically told them the fragrances that i did like out of this box and that's the package that i'm waiting for so when i receive that i'll definitely be showing you guys because y'all are coming on this journey with me i do not care <laughs> So, oh my gosh, the box is falling apart. Why is it doing that? Oh my god. Okay, so this is the first one. Let me move this out the way. So, this is like the big, like, main one. Look at it. So, it says Fiori. And then there's like the little QR code that you can press and it will send you to my micro site. And that will show basically my fragrance, the pricing, the little description for the, for the name of... The business and all that stuff it smells delicious it reminds me of my mom which is like the perfect scent ever oh i love it so much it's kind of like a stronger scent i would say like a and i believe all these perfumes yeah all these perfumes include essential oils i'm not so sure at the top of my head but i'll have a picture right here to show you guys um and once you do go on the micro site, then you'll actually see that. But I'll put it here just for reference. Oh, I love the smell so much. It reminds me of my mom. Like I said, delicious. Then, there's these four little bad boys. Hold on, let me. There's these little four bad boys. Okay, and by the looks of this one, you can already tell. I'm using this bad boy up. She is delicious. She smells just like my mom, like to the T. And it's also like a sweeter color, or color, a sweeter scent, and it smells delicious. So, yeah, I love this. This one was my, like, top, top favorite. And I definitely picked this one. This is one of the ones that definitely one of the ones that i picked then there's this one they have like 80 because hold on that says whatever <laughs> and then like a number to it and that's how i let them know which one i wanted which one i didn't this one was not my favorite at all i didn't go through with this one because it just smelled like straight up alcohol but like but like like a mixture of a different essential oil or something like that like i don't know but it wasn't my favorite at all so I'm not going through with that one. And then there is this one. This one is a scent that also reminded me of my mom as well. 
Yeah, it just smells delicious. Yeah, I would definitely went through with this one. It was smells so good. And then the last one. As if y'all can smell it through the screen. I wish y'all could. Here you go. <laughs> this one has... I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. But it's a good scent. So I went through with all four of those. And in the box... It says the size of each of them and the ingredients of it all. It's in the inside, that little pink square y'all see. That's what that is. But this was this was such an amazing experience and I could not do it without the support of y'all because without you supporting me the way that you support me, they wouldn't have noticed me, they wouldn't have reached out to me, they wouldn't have wanted to work with me, and now here I am working with them, and it was such a pleasure to just create this with them. And it was a very fun experience, and I'm just so grateful. The box is like unraveling itself, so it's making noise. <laughs> but it was just, ah! I told my close family friends about it. They were like, wait, tell me more. And I'm like, girl, I got you. <laughs> But yeah, I have a the link to all of that in the description box down below. And if you guys want to shop for the holidays or just just because you want to support, I'll leave it down in the description box. That's literally like all the scents that I've been using since I received the package and I'm loving it. Someone commented, I mean, I was with like my, my grandfather's family friends about it. They were like, wait, tell me more. And I'm like, girl, I got you. <laughs> But yeah, I have a the link to all of that in the description box down below. And if you guys want to shop for the holidays or just just because you want to support, I'll leave it down in the description box down below. I'm so grateful. Um, and that's literally like all the scents that I've been using since I received the package. And I'm loving it. Co-worker walked past me when we were working and she was like, you smell good. And I was like, thank you so much. And I had told her about my fragrance. And then she automatically assumed and asked if it was my fragrance. And I said, yeah. And I was like, the fact that you were able to point that out, like that just made me so happy. And that just brought my day up so much. And it was just, ah, like I just can't stop smiling. Like, <laughs> so that's that. And thank you so, so much to Scentcraft for reaching out to me, for seeing potential in me, working with me, and letting me create this, this beautiful micro site with these beautiful fragrances. They all smell delicious, and I'm just forever grateful. So thank you so much, Scentcraft. I love y'all, and I appreciate you so, so much. Okay, let's go to the gym. Bye. The next day. Hey, guys. Good morning. I'm driving. I just dropped my sister. Oh, gotta go. Hey guys, good morning. Sorry, y'all can't really see me that good. But I just finished dropping my sister off, like I said in the previous clip. Um, this is the second time in a row that I woke up early and dropped my sister off. So big sister teens. <laughs> um, and I was kind of nervous to do it because I haven't drove that far yet by myself and I did um, but now I'm almost home I just wanted to stop by Starbucks hopefully my camera will stay because I don't have a tripod or anything in my car but um ah! oh, oh, oh. okay yeah but yeah don't pay attention to this my bad don't pay attention to that okay okay but yeah so now I'm at Starbucks because I wanted coffee and I would have done it the cheaper route and do it at home but we have no milk so that's fun um so i'm gonna get a coffee especially because i'm tired like i'm really like drowsy right now um so usually i get a latte but this time i don't want a latte because i feel like i don't get the although there's espresso in it i feel like i don't get my caffeine good enough from that so i'm just gonna get a regular iced coffee and y'all are gonna hear me order it so i'm almost in line i mean i'm already in line but like i'm about to actually like pull into the actual drive through line because there's no reason why <laughs> there's no reason why the line should be this long because i was gonna park and then do it online but i wanted to pay with cash so i had to go back in line to do that but hope y'all are having a great day if you haven't watched my vlog my last my 
last video it was the first day of vlogmas so i hope y'all enjoyed it um this is gonna go with uh yeah this is gonna go for vlogmas day two so happy vlogmas day two um should i get a holiday drink instead because christmas spirit so i want to do that yeah i'm gonna do it so um i'm hungry too but i don't want to keep wasting my money <laughs> Yeah, after I order, I think I'm going to park. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just say 1123. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <sighs> y'all, it was so cold this morning, and now it's getting hotter. So I wore a sweater for no reason. Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I also wanted to do this when I parked, but I have time because there's three other cars in front of me. But let me actually let me put my phone up because I'm doing this. Um whatchamacallit? I'm doing this kind of scenery thing. Not scenery. This challenge on my I mean, it's not really a challenge. It's more like a. Okay, yeah, but it's more like a. Like I'm doing vlogmas on my TikTok as well, basically. So I'm calling it Talkmas. I think other people call it Talkmas too, but um. I. Hold on. Oh my God! Now is not the perfect time to be doing this, but you know. Your girl don't listen. But yeah, I'm gonna be recording on both. Okay, you know what, y'all? I need to wait. I need to wait. I'll see y'all later. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, I'm gonna keep y'all. I'm gonna keep y'all. I just have more editing to do because. I dropped my money on the floor. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Yeah, I hope she doesn't think I'm crazy. Yeah, this is so nerve wracking. It's okay, we're gonna do it. I gotta do what I gotta do to get my content out. Ain't that right? Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm such a mess. Starbucks. Good, that's so cute. Scan. I don't want to scan my air. Okay. Hold on. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, can I scan my app real quick? Day? I am. How about you? Come on, thank you. <laughs> I just smile for the moon people. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, so this video is going up like soon, like within the next hour or so. Like it's currently 10:41 p.m. And I don't care. I'm dedicated. I've been editing the past few hours and it's gonna go up today 
regardless. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and tell me why as I'm editing, I realize that a portion of the vlog like blacked out for some reason. I think my camera like overheated when I was filming that part. Um, and then it just like went blank. And like you could hear my voice, but you couldn't see the like the actual like you couldn't see me. So I just deleted that part because I just figured y'all wouldn't like y'all are not trying to just see a blank screen. So uh, yeah, this next part makes no sense. Um, but I tried to like edit it to where I didn't cut out too much, but you still can get a get the point of like what I was talking about. So yeah, sorry. Well, I'm forever, forever grateful and thankful, not only to the men above, but to you guys as well. Because if it weren't for you guys and your support and following me, keeping up with my stuff, then uh, people would not be recognizing me, brands would not be recognizing me and wanting to um, work with me. So I'm forever grateful. I feel like I'm very big on speaking on self-love and, and working on yourself for no one else but you. Um, hence why I came out with my business working on me for me and I have decided to uh, stop it once again for now and I'm saying for now because I truly mean it I have other plans with that name um, and it's still something I'm trying to figure out and do my research on so I won't go into further detail until I can figure that out because what I've noticed with myself is that I I get so excited about something and I'm so quick to put it out there, but then I'm not quick enough to keep up with it. And then I get upset that I end up failing with it. And it's okay, I've learned that it's totally fine. It's okay and that's the part of growing as a person and growing in your businesses. So uh, I'm gonna be taking a break from that aspect, but I'm gonna still continue on um, growing my business as an influencer. So keep a lookout on all my social medias, keeping up with me, all that stuff. But um, that took way too long for that question. So next question is, hmm. How have these last months affected you? And that kind of goes in with like mental um, because I'm speaking on how I've been doing mentally within the past few months. Um, and I would say it's affected me positively. I think, I think I've been doing well. I feel like I have grown as a person these last few months. Not only did I start going to the gym, so I, I'm working on my physical, but I have been more appreciative of God and his works more than ever these last few months um, and I'm forever forever grateful um, and yeah they've been doing well I've been doing well and then next is what's some some things you learned about yourself this year and I think especially because now I've become more independent with, um, ex especially because I have a car, my own car, and I'm able to drive around wherever now um, and kind of get more of that independence than I did before. Um, I feel like I learned how to be more independent. I have always been reliant on other people, um, not only because I have a big family, but I also have a twin sister and she for the since we were seniors has been driving both of us around everywhere and i'm forever grateful forever appreciative for her to do that and kind of um kind of i don't want to say guardian because she's not my guardian but kind of in a, in a way um be there for my needs and for things that I needed like if I need to go to the store if I need to go to work like I can rely on her to take me and I'm forever appreciative for her doing that these last few years um, and now that I have a car of my own I've just kind of learned that independence is so important and and driving is a very big step in being independent and I think that's why I was so scared oh my gosh yeah yeah, I think I've started to realize that now. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I was so scared to drive because that means it's, I'm opening up a new chapter of being independent. And 
I was telling my sisters, oh, I'm gonna always be on the phone with somebody so I can, so I don't have to be alone. So I have another set of eyes just in case anything happens on the road. Um, but really it was because I just did not know how to be alone. And I feel like this last, I would say this last week, I've learned that I love it. I love being by myself. <laughs> like, obviously I have to keep my guard up whenever I'm around because this world. But at the end of the day, I know God is with me. So I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. And on top of that, I can just... I, oh my gosh like it's so freeing to be able to just go around everywhere without yourself without having to rely on other people not having to rely on other people's timing and that's such a big thing because if i want to go to the store right now i don't have to wait for somebody else to take me so i can just go get up and go by myself okay so definitely independence that's a, a huge thing that i've learned this year yeah and last but not least oh my gosh it's so hot in here y'all <laughs> i want to turn the air on okay I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put it on low. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just really hot. And the last question is What's a couple things you've learned from content creating in the past year? And that's a very good question. Um, one thing that I've learned content creating last year is that at the end of the day, yes, you're creating content that other people are gonna see, but also at the end of the day, if you're not happy with the content that you're producing, that you're coming out with, then what's the point of coming out with the content? Because no matter what, the supporters that are that are supporting you and following you, they will stick by your side with all the type of content that you create. Whether it's genuine, authentic content, whether it's... Um, content to keep up with a certain trend like at the end of the day people will follow you for a certain thing but also the real ones will follow you for how real you are and for the person that you actually are so that's something that I definitely learned um, I and also do what makes you happy like if it's not making you happy don't do it why are you doing that why are you putting yourself through the stress also with content creator friends. Not everyone is your friend. I promise you, not everyone is your friend. <laughs> not everyone is your friend! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Obviously, right now, I'm blessed with the the little content creating group that I have right now. Um, shout out to Aaliyah, Tania, and Isabel. Um, Aaliyah and Tania have genuinely helped me so much with my content creation. Um, and not just with that, but just with life itself. And I'm forever grateful for them. And right now, Aaliyah and Tania and I are doing Vlogmas. Um, I'm I'm gonna try my best for y'all. Um, I know I can count on them. And I actually just watched their videos yesterday and they were beautiful. Um, and shout out to you, Aaliyah. Like, you are such a beautiful soul. And I'm so grateful to have met you and to create this relationship with you. Um, and yeah like you show your true authentic self on all your platforms um in front of people and behind closed doors and that's something that you can't really find in people anymore um because everyone is trying to be someone else and i'm just grateful to have this group of friends and to have you as a friend Leah. like i love you so much man that's my dog for real um but yeah yeah, I'm forever appreciative for you all. Um, so yeah, and yeah, so not everyone is going to be your friend and that's okay. I am a very, very friendly person. Um, but as you get older and you learn that everyone's not gonna be your friend and that's okay, it's gonna be okay. You don't need to be friends with everybody. I promise you it's not needed because the more friends that you have, the more drama there is. And it's just, I, I don't have the, mental capacity i don't have the capacity in my brain to hold all that nonsense like i only want to be with people that are going to uplift me as a person that someone that we can uplift each other together with and yeah that's it that's it so if your friends aren't benefiting you physically mentally spiritually 
or in any positive way at all, maybe it's time to leave them in 2022 because there is no reason why you should be sticking with people that aren't going to be there for you in those aspects or even you aren't going to help them with in those aspects going into 2023. We're going into 2023. You should have left that in 2020 during quarantine. Okay? So let's do that. So yeah i've also become more outspoken i don't think that has anything to do with the question what was the question again <laughs> yeah i'm just talking now but um yeah and something i also learned too is with the content that i create like i said earlier um not it doesn't all have to be a specific topic. Let me turn this air off. Yeah, like it doesn't have to be specific content that you come out with. And I was just talking to, to my girls about it, um, Aaliyah, Tania, and Isabel. But I have noticed that my TikToks are everywhere. My social media, like everything on my social media is everywhere. Like one minute I'll... I'll be talking about a brand next minute i'm over here like being goofy the next minute i'm like doing talking about coffee like i have those uplifting uplifting videos like positivity videos then i have uh, a daily vlog and it's just also random and that's okay because that's who i am i'm a random person <laughs> oh i'm <laughs> i'm a person with random thoughts and random ideas in my head and i I just don't like to schedule when I'm gonna come out with it because if I want to come out with it tomorrow I'm gonna come out with it tomorrow if I want to do a coffee video today I'm gonna do a coffee video today and I'm gonna post it today if I want to do a weekly vlog or just a regular vlog then I am gonna do a vlog like I'm not gonna not do it just because yesterday I did one I don't care <laughs> like it's just it might be same day different uh, same thing different day but I don't know but but yeah <laughs> but yeah i need to hurry up and go inside my coffee is melting <laughs> y'all see the drips it's sweating like me but i really hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog this is going to be a pain to edit because i have to upload it tonight show might be a late late upload but i thank you guys so much for driving with me i mean not really but parking with me and talking with me um hearing me out and i'm so forever appreciative for you guys thank you for giving me this opportunity to come out with my perfume and it is available for purchase so uh press the link down below in order to purchase from me and when you purchase the big bottle which is the the fragrance that I came up with you will also get three other small bottles I think they're five milliliter bottles um, of fragrances that I also picked out and were also my favorite and if you do not want to buy the, uh, the perfume with that link you can also create your own fragrance or gift another fragrance to someone else so yeah there's like a lot of options that you can do with that but y'all should try my perfume out because miss Aaliyah in her last vlog um i gifted her like a little squishy mellow and before i sent it out i sprayed it with my perfume and she said it smells amazing so um don't take it from me but take it from her like the perfume smells good that's what i've been smelling like these past few weeks so if you want to smell good like me then you should get the perfume <laughs> and not only does it have to be for you but it, you can also gift this to somebody it is the holiday season so if you have a loved one that you want to gift something to and you don't know what to get them maybe a perfume is good like you can never go wrong with a perfume as a gift because i would love to be gifted a perfume so yeah yeah that's pretty much it for the vlog i have to go now but i love you guys i appreciate you guys i'm so grateful for you guys god bless you guys and yeah i'll see you tomorrow maybe i don't know i like i said in my previous vlog i don't have like i did not prepare for vlogmas this year um so 
if I'm able to come out with content, then I will come out with content. But if I can't, I'm not going to force myself to come out with something that I don't like um, and that I wasn't prepared for. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys when I see you guys. And... You can't, it's almost Christmas! But, yeah.